We're doing a Bardstown hunt today. Now, we've done one of these before, but it's been a couple years. Our first stop into town is Keystone Liquors. We've been here before, we come here a lot. It's worth checking out, sometimes they have stuff behind the counter, but the prices are, typically they know what they have. And it generally gets picked over because it's on a pretty prominent road. And the reason why we're in Bardstown is because Kentucky Bourbon Festival is what? A couple oh, weeks away. A couple weeks away, so we kind of feel like they might be amping up for all mm. the people around the country and around the world coming into their in. town and they're going to be bourbon hunting. So we're sort of like, what are you starting to put out? What's, you know, what's, what's good? What's on the shelves is what you what's got there. What's on the shelves, yeah, exactly. So uh, I guess we're going to find out and bring you along with us today. All right. Turn right. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the first thing we see is the new high wheat version of the Origin series that we just did a video about a couple weeks ago. And then, whoa, this wood experiments from Jefferson's is from like 2016. What a blast from the past. Knob Creek is 60 bucks, that's a good price for it. Oh, but 150 for Blanton's is not. And speaking of 12 years, here's the 1792 12 year and Sweet Wheat, both for 120. Yeah, that's way of a retail for both, but if you saw our last challenge edition hunting video, you know that's better than what we had to pay for it to win the challenge. All right, what else do we have? Weller 107 and Special Reserve. Let's compare this to 2023's video. Okay, they had a lot more Special Reserve, but no 107. And even though $60 is way over retail for Special Reserve, it's good to see their price hasn't gone up in over a year. So glad to see McKenna from behind the registers and back on the shelves again. And this $65 is the right price for 2024, but $150 for E.H. Taylor's small batch is high, but also good to see it back on the shelf. Let's do another comparison with this Larceny Barrel Proof. It's $99 here in 2024, and also back in March of 2023. Okay. Elijah Crack Toasted has made a bit of a comeback to shelves in our area lately as well. We needed a modern day Kentucky spirit just last week for a video we were doing and couldn't find one in Lexington. So of course, we'll be seeing them all day in Barstown. And yet another return to shelves here lately has been Booker's. Although this is top of the pricing scale for what we see them for, or so we thought, stay tuned. Before we go, here's a look at the bottles behind the counter. Woof, $800 for Weller CYPB. We've never really understood why that expression is so popular. $1,000 for what I think is the 25th anniversary 13-year-old Fitzgerald. Jeez. Still just the workhorse. Yeah, it is. Sarah, they had that uh, Knob Creek 10-year rye. 70 bucks, yeah. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I have on, on Perry's podcast and... You weren't a fan? Didn't love it, but I mean... I want to try it. It can always be something that we could review, well, let people know. So true. We um, didn't uh, we didn't get it, but we're gonna be driving back. We are, and we're also gonna be going to this, the this, Beam this Distillery. Story, yeah. So like maybe at the very least, maybe we can get a taste at kitchen table and see if it's worth it. Maybe I don't Do know. Do a little mini it's review a little, there. <laughs> it's not noon yet, but by the time we hit Four Roses, because exactly. you called. Thank you for calling Four Roses Distillery. You're welcome. Please wait while your call is being transferred. It's very important to them. Hi, I was just wondering if you had any of the uh, single barrel barrel proofs today? We do. We have OESK and OBSO. Oh, very nice. Okay, well, I think we'll be seeing you soon then. Thanks so much. You know, if we're going to put like a mission on this hunt, and there's not really a particular mission, but I am trying to get all 10 recipes of you are. Four Roses barrel proof, single barrel for a potential thing. Just because. There's some new stuff at Beam, so I do definitely, you know. Well, if you're going out to Four Roses, to Beam, Cox Creek, you, you might gotta, as well just go to Beam. Go to Beam, so. If you're gonna drive out there. We're, that's what we're, we're gonna, going to those places next. That's we'll what we're see. gonna do. So we'll see, see you at we can Four find. Roses. <laughs> Our first distillery stop is Four Roses, Cox Creek, and it's great going there knowing that they'll have what you want. We recommend calling them. They'll always tell you. They aren't trying to keep it a secret. And here it is. They had a 10-year, two-month OBSO at 109.6 proof and a 10-year, nine-month OESK at 108.8 proof. And this one's from warehouse number BN, so let's just put an I in front of it and make it ours. Now it's warehouse IBN. <laughs> we're not getting the OBSO because we already have two bottles of that recipe, so we're gonna leave it for someone else. But both of these single barrels were picked by the master distiller, Brent Elliott. Thanks, Brent. Well, we got the OESK, which is what Chad wanted for his project. So that's a win. First bottle of the day, second stop. Uh, Jim Beam's just up the road, so maybe we can find something there. So last week we had this thing we like to call false fall, which is where it feels like it's in October, but it's actually in August, and you start to think, oh wow, it's about to be September soon. It's gonna be nice and cool, like 60, 70 degrees. You're like, oh, fall is here. 
It's false fault. False. Now, what comes after false fault? Hell's front porch. That's where we are today. 96 degrees. It is hot. That's where I'm wearing this athleisure dress so that no one can see me sweat. Because I'm dying. Yeah. It's so hot. Beam had a lot going on for it today, starting with the Hardens Creek 11-year Golden Origins Corn Whiskey, the Legion Yamazaki, which is so good, the current Little Book and Booker's releases, this Distiller's Share Muscat Wine Finish, Baker's 13-year, Baker's Single Barrel, and, oh, hello? A High Rye Single Barrel Baker's? All right, we're picking this one up. Here's the Knob Creek 10-year rye for 70, just like the last place. Let's see if they have it on the tasting bar upstairs. Oh, and the third edition of Knob Creek 18-year. Knob Creek 12-year for 75. It was a better deal back at Keystone. They did have the 10-year rye on the tasting bar, so we're going with that. While upstairs, we noticed the old Overholt rye Mangalahelian mash. Monongahela. Monongahela. So we're picking it up. You would think that would make Abraham Overholt a little happier, but look at that sourpuss. I like the nose. <laughs> Can you smell it? Lots of spice. Like yeah, I lots like the spice. spice. Okay. Baking spice. Pretty much what I'd expect for a 10-year-old rye. Decent amount of oak. Boy, well, you're crazy. What are you talking about? I like it. For 70 bucks. It is better than I wish it was a little what I have before. It's good. Shh, quiet. I like this better than the Bourbon X rye thing that they released recently. I would agree with that. I would much rather. I think this is nice. It's nice sipping rye, nice for fall, 70 bucks. 100 proof, but I like 100 proof. Good, approachable. Or... I guess it just seems a little hot for 100 proof. Oh, I like it. I have you had your second spice. sip, Sarah? Mm -mm. This is it, break room bar in Lexington. I like it, I like the hug. I think it's really nice. I would buy a bottle. Okay. Well, now we've tasted it and we've reviewed it here, so do we need to buy a bottle for... <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, budget purposes. Right, Somebody's got to yeah. be the bank account manager, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I have to say it's better than when I tried it uh, on Perry's podcast. Um, I don't know, just wasn't really... I don't think any of us were really feeling it that day, but it is definitely better here. I remember saying that the regular seven-year-old rye, which is a lot less in, in, uh, in money, would be the better... Pick. And, and it might still be because we're not having these side by side. But it, do you know what you I think know? is another feather in its cap, mm. uh, if you will, is that it is 96 degrees outside. This is a rye. It is 100 proof, and it is giving me Kentucky hug. It does have the spice, and I'm not put off by that. Even though it's almost too hot, this isn't blasphemous. It's almost too hot to drink whiskey. <laughs> almost. I'm into it. I like it. Well, there you go. Cheers. All right, so we picked up the uh, Baker's Seven Year High Rye single barrel so i gotta think if it's high rise it's basically the ogd mash bill so a single barrel old granddad seven year at 107 proof i know it's a little bit down from the 114 but yeah looking forward to it it dropped today 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 was released so that was cool so let's go on it's so hot look we all can now while Sarah's run into the uh, Peddler's Mall here in Barstown, I wanted to tell you about our Bourbon Heritage Month sale at whiskeyambitions.com. It's 10% off everything, including sale items, plus free shipping on $100 or more. That's 10% off t-shirts like this, hats, all of our glassware, including our new Glen Karen tasting kits, uh, sweatshirts, hoodies, bottle cut candles, jar candles, coins, postcards, more. Basically everything is what I'm getting at. It's 10% off during the month of September when you use coupon code bourbon month at checkout at whiskeyambitions.com. I'll also tell you about Patreon. Episodes like this and uh, other ones are brought to you by the awesome people, our community there at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. That's where you can become a bourbonite or many of our other tiers there. Well, you will always enjoy, depending on your tier, discount codes to whiskeyambitions.com. Exclusive after the episode content. It's another round of Chad Sarah lives exclusively there on Patreon. Plus you get first access and oftentimes exclusive access to our barrel picks. So much more. These are all the names of the awesome patrons that uh, support us each month. And it's a great way to support this channel if you enjoy this content. You know what? I'm going to run in there and uh, see if I can find any cool things. So... Next is Liquor World, and we've got an 01 and 02 Bookers. Like we said, great to see them back on the shelves. And these are 120? Oof, I see why they're still on the shelves. Oh no, here we go again. More sweet wheat and 12 year for $30 under what we had to pay for ours in our challenge video. <sighs> we think these generations of proof and wood finishing gift packs are such great gift ideas. Speaking of wood finishing, here's the hearts release. 
a 10-year Buckner's, and the Jamesy Pepper Barrel Proof, they call this the decanter bottle. I seem to remember these blue runs being on sale last time. Let's compare. I mean, they move the limited time sticker around a little, but yeah, it's the same. You ready for some smooth bourbon? It's Buffalo Trace White Dog. Okay. Wait, were these Thomas S. Moore bottles here last year too? Yep, but we can't blame the consumer on this one. The price is right, it's just these releases weren't that great in our opinion. Good collection of the Pursuit Spirits bottles. All they need are the double oak bourbon and rye and they'd have them all. Here's a look behind the counter. Some nice bottles for sure, but no pricing. And we weren't about to spend all day asking for prices. You know what they say, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Or maybe you can. Evergreen Liquors is always a great stop in Bardstown because if you don't find the bottle that you're wanting, you can always get a pour at their bar. And we wish this dog was a permanent addition, but she was with one of the customers. Who's your good girl? Looking around, they have some of the usual things in their glass cases, including this yellow spot that I wish we'd bought over in Ireland. Some old Louisville, the Yellowstone LE, Calumet Farms, or Calumet if you're fancy, Booker's, and a touch that we like are these tags that let you know when a bottle that's on the shelf is also available by the pour at the bar. What are you doing? I'm looking for the potato. Cause it means like we could buy an allocated bottle. I don't know if we will buy the allocated bottle. Mostly I just need to win potato game. You heard right. Hidden in the store are usually three potatoes, though sometimes they use unicorns. Here's some of the past lucky winners and the allocated bottle that they were able to purchase. I found the potato. It's right here. Found a potato. You found it? <laughs> I did. So time to hit the tasting bar for a break. Pause to read their menu, complete with some cool flights. I uh, wore myself out looking for the potato. So I'm gonna have a beer now. This is a Mirror Twin Oktoberfest, Mirror Twins in Lexington, and it's my favorite brewery in town, I think. I don't know, I really like Ethereal too, but it's good stuff. Well, Sarah, I found a potato. Oh, yeah. the potato. I'm not competitive, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's fine. I didn't find a potato. I found a beer. Weller, foolproof, store pick. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You very get the nice. opportunity to purchase it if right. you find the potato. Yes, there you go. And it, and it revolves. Well, it's uh, not always a potato. Obviously. It's not always potato, but I'm saying it's not always a well or foolproof. Sure, they hide little trinkets either. around. They do scavenger it's, hunts. Uh, yeah, just allocated For bottles. different bottles. Yeah, so that's cool. We're gonna go to lunch now. Bartstown Burger, we wanna show you that because it is excellent, so come on. Bartstown Burger has burgers, obviously, but also grilled chicken, grilled cheese, a BLT, which Sarah got, complete with onion rings, while I got a double cheeseburger and fries. I mean, just look at this thing. I gave Sarah a bite, and while her BLT was good, I think she had burger envy. I would absolutely never leave there again without getting a burger. Huge mistake. The blind pig has moved since we last hunted here, so let's check out their new digs. You might be thinking the move was recent and that's why you aren't seeing the prices, but actually the price is on the back of each bottle, which makes it a little less fun for you all, the viewers. So we'll get straight to what we ended up getting, which was this old Overholt 114 and the Brothers Wright Reserve aged in a coal mine. We were also gonna get this Dark Arts Barely Legal Bourbon, but they had it for $109, and we can find it for less back in Lexington. The Bond also looked intriguing, but we'll save it for another time. Great selection on Buzzard's Roost. Here's the other side of the store, complete with a bit of Scotch and Irish, and a much larger tasting bar than their old spot. All right, Blind Pig. Mm -hmm. New location, moved. Yeah, they That's moved. nice. We were walking down the street, and I was like, look, here it is, and Chad was like, no, it's not, it's down here. I'm like. But the sign says. But it is. But it is. The yeah. new spot, our first time in the new location. They mm -hmm. have a tasting bar now. Yeah. They did tastings before, but there wasn't like a now bar. There's a bar proper. Ample space to yeah. do the tastings. Not a huge store, but a good selection, I think. Yeah, uh -huh. a, a nice selection of like things that you don't normally see or things from around the area. Super friendly staff, everybody mm -hmm. that was in there. We picked up that coal miner's bottle, which yep. you said we needed to get, and I was like, what's this? I've never seen this before. Yeah, aged in a coal mine. You know, that's a new thing. Got it. 
Gotta try that out, right? If you can age it somewhere, they will come. <laughs> Aged on Apparently. the moon. What's gonna, oh, moon whiskey moon is whiskey. gonna be a thing. Moon rock mark whiskey. My, mark my words. Who wants the over under on whether or not moon whiskey is gonna be a thing? Copyright, Space 2024. whiskey is for sure gonna space be a thing. Whiskey. It's yeah. literally the space race for whiskey. For whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Aged in zero gravity. Now How come, would that work? Come back whenever that's a real thing and, yeah. and you'll know. So now we're going to go on to um, Heaven, Heaven Hill, Hill because we have to. We gotta see if there's anything behind yeah. the counter. You yeah. just never know. You never know. It's true, you just never know. But whereas a year and a half ago we lucked out with a 15 year William Heaven Hill, this time we struck out. They did have the new grain to glass bottles, our favorite being the weeded bourbon. And here's the Evan Williams 1783 American Hero Edition. That feels like a good pickup for 26 bucks. I feel like Henry McKenna is at enough stores regularly now that the distillery can take away the limit one per customer, but that's just how we feel. Speaking of limit one, it's the same story with their distillery exclusive Five Brothers Bourbon. Oh, and here's the new Toasted Rye. We'll have a review of this coming out very soon. All right, so just because I didn't want to leave empty-handed, got the uh, Evan Williams uh, Hero Edition. Um, I remember when I was up uh, at Jason's, the Mash and Drum, he had one, I think, from 2023, and uh, it was rather good. So I hadn't tried one of these before, so I thought, you know, for the, what, 26 bucks, give it a shot. I would call that a successful hunt. I would, too. Yeah, Bardstown 2.0. So yep. if you're coming around for a Bourbon Heritage Month or Kentucky Bourbon Fest or Bourbon and Beyond, any of the other festivals that start with bourbon or to come see bourbon, us or just to come see us or enjoy the lovely fall uh -huh. weather that's kind of what you have to look forward to now there will be an increase in traffic so i'm sure a lot of that will get picked over but a lot of brands are probably also putting out their limited release stuff right. in the next couple months so not a bad time to come yeah. i hope it's not 100 degrees on the day that you're here <laughs> but it's fine it was a good day overall yeah let's head back to home base and uh look at what we got let's do it Here's how we did in our Bardstown bourbon hunt. We picked up the Baker's High Rye Bourbon for 75, a Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Proof OESK for 99, a Weller Full Proof Pick for 79.99, the Brothers Wright Reserve for 71.99, the Old Overholt 114 Rye for 39.99, the Evan Williams American Hero Edition for 25.99, and we did a tasting of the Knob Creek 10 Year Rye for $15. All in, our total was 406.96 before tax. So yeah, that's the total. And I mean, that's, you know, I guess for all these bottles, but it's less than we spent on the first Bardstown hunt. So Correct. what are you gonna do? The yeah. finance person inside of me is like, huh. but then I look <laughs> at these and I'm like, okay, well, yeah. especially for this Four Roses single barrel and this, well, our foolproof being out here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I yeah. get it. I'm, okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. You're happy? Yeah. Well, then everyone's happy. <laughs> Hopefully you're happy too. <laughs> hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, hunt more bourbon. Mm -hmm.